so far much better than pass holder day um, we are headed towards the walkway so I'm gonna get in there because I prefer not to walk when I'm talking so things are not too bad so far there was no struggles or anything security was short temperatures was really short as compared to last time see the video for that one seriously it was crazy but it's so far so good now i don't know where to go universal or or island so now that's gonna be the next big question going on where do i go where do i go So, I decided and I'm gonna go to Island of Adventure first because during the preview I went to Universal Studios first. So let's see how this goes. 2020 has been crazy y'all. Good morning. Good morning. So, I am hoping that not a lot of people just like bombard the park. So, but we'll see. So they have a lot of team members here. They look like um, managers or team leaders. So this is awesome. They have them helping out, setting up the lines. There really isn't any line, at least right here. So right now, this is how the lines are going. Everyone's trying to pick for the distance. Trying to word. Um, I am definitely trying to stick to the distance. And then when the line opens, the line will open. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, um, so a little hint, universal, hashtag universal, please. Um, you might want to put markers um, to maintain the six feet at the turnstiles. So I know you have them elsewhere because I've, I came in on the third. So I know you can do it, but you need to do it like for reals at the turnstiles because the more people come, the more likely people are to miss those markers. It's a pleasure the more likely people are to not stick to their six feet. So, if you could do that, that would be awesome. So thank you, please. Okay. I already see the news, they're looking at the people. Oh, I already know it, I'm gonna be on the news. Hi y'all. So, some people don't have their, well, they have their mask, but they don't have them on. Uh, they're using an excuse of having a drink in their hand. I have a feeling that's gonna be something that happens often. Some people have their mask hanging on. Some people have their nose outside of their mask. So that's beautiful. Look, if I can deal with this and I have asthma and severe allergies, anyone can do this. Seriously. So it looks like they're getting ready to open up maybe a few minutes earlier, which is very, very, very cool. Um, they're opening up the gates. I feel like, <laughs> hashtag Anna and Elsa. Um, they are opening up the gates to the turnstiles. Well, not really turnstiles because they took. Well, yeah, there's some turnstiles, but not to get in. To get in, it's just like the scanning thing. To get out, that's when the turnstiles come in. Um, they're they're about to start scanning. So, yay! First thing, open the app, and I directly. Got a return time to go to Hagrid's. Let's see if I fit actually. If I don't fit, then I have to, of course, resign the my thingy my thingy. But we'll see. So I'm headed down that way. So we'll see. Exciting. Um, so right now I'm in Hogsmeade. I am in front of Flight of the Hippogriff and the Harry Potter Forbidden Journey ride. At this point, Forbidden Journey is still closed. I guess they're having technical difficulties, but um, I'm just waiting for the virtual passes to actually open up so I can get a pass to go in. I already have one for um, Hagrid's, which I'm really excited because I've never been. And I tried to, I got on the test um, seats and I fit it, guys. So those 35 pounds really have done something. So I'm super, super, super happy. And I just, I, oh my god, I'm so excited. So I'm here just waiting. It's 9.20 and I already have one ride under my belt. I did fly with the Hippogriff. It was cute. I like it. And then I have the pass for Hagrid's. So I'm really excited. 
and oh my god I just can't wait do you guys like my unicorns aren't they cute they're adorable my mommy made this for me I forgot to iron it she's probably gonna be mad but I don't care because it's still cute and that's all that matters all right bye so first for Hagrid's what you do you go through the line to get to the lockers all right so what they do they go ahead and they scan what they do is they check your pass your virtual pass after they check your virtual pass they go through they scan it once they scan it you go to the lockers drop your stuff off after you drop your stuff off then you go into the line i already done the test for the volume that i got because i didn't want to have to deal with that so and i fit it so yay for me but now i have to do all this other stuff so exciting and i'm smiling just can't see it so yeah bye guys you can see all the markings again everyone trying to stick to the feet apart this is very exciting still walking let's get going yeah So I'm inside of the Hagrid's queue and this is bringing back a lot of Dueling Dragon memories. The turns and all that stuff. Y'all don't even know, I just wrote it twice. Oh my God. I'm just like in awe. I am in awe, I can't. This ride is like the best ride ever. I was finally able to ride Hagrid's. Those 35 pounds I lost made a difference. I need to lose 35 more, like ASAP, so I can be comfortable. This is crazy. I'm just so happy. All right, so far, it, I've written, I've, I've gotten a lot of things actually. Of course, it's only been in the Harry Potter area. Hogsmeade so the park doesn't seem too busy but again I haven't left this area so once I leave to go to other areas I'll see more um, there were some people not following instructions like always but you'll always get the few that don't really want to follow any rules some people that are just not doing what they're supposed to and ruining it for everyone else but amen what can we do all right so there's construction happening right now that is for the new Jurassic World slash park roller coaster coming up. There's not a lot of information about it, but this is what it looks like so far. So I wanted to eat at Comic Strip Cafe, but it is close. So be aware of that. There are going to be places that are close. This is empty. Everyone is comparing into the same area. Every single person is in the same area. Harry Potter. But right now, this area is like, there's almost like no one. This place is empty. So, let's go ahead and see. Oh! So it says five minutes, so we're gonna go see if it really is five minutes, and we're gonna time it this time. Let's see. Alrighty, so I just finished um, Spider-Man. It, I was in and out within 15 minutes. So that was good. I like that. I'm about to go see if I can get into Hulk. And then, yeah, that's that's about it. Just finished Hulk. So let's see. Let's do a recap of everything I've done so far. I went on Flight of the Hippogriff. Okay. Then I went on Hagrid twice. Then I went on forbidden journey i skipped jurassic park and i skipped king kong the two water ones i went to spider-man skipped doctor doom went on hulk skipped the circle one the storm one i did dr seuss on wednesday when i came in so i'm gonna skip dr sue and I'm gonna go straight into the Hogwarts Express so I can go eat because I am starving. And 
this is actually a good idea, I should go this way. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go to the Simpsons area to eat. And then after I'm done with the Simpsons area, I'll go to Men in Black. Then I'll go back to Diagon Alley. In Diagon Alley. Then I'll go to The Mummy. Then I'll go to Jimmy Fallon. After Jimmy Fallon, Shrek, Minions, and go home. That's what I'm hoping to do. I might do E.T. if I'm in the mood. After I eat something nice and chill. All right. So, I'm at um, uh, the Hogsmeade station and people have been so amazing, y'all, because they went ahead and took off these little stickies that you see on the floor. Hold on. Let me show They took them off. Okay? And yeah, this is why we can't have nice things. So yeah, fun. Alright, we are at King Cross Station. I love this King Cross Station. It really reminds me of a real one. It just brings back the memories. <laughs> Alright, so back to the journey. So we are back in the London area. We're about to go in to enjoy ourselves a little bit of Gringotts. Going into Diagon Alley and seeing the amazingness that it is. So I have a pass for them at four. I've been able to switch it around all day. So there have been plenty. Um, and then I have one for the mummy later on. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go through this side just because. So let's see. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the last ride of the day. I did pretty much every single ride I wanted to do today. <gasps> Oh my God, exciting. Now let's do the mummy. All right, so I believe it's past five and it started raining. As you can tell, I'm struggling with my umbrella because it's very breezy now. All that breeze that we needed earlier, it's here now, yay. Ah! Now I'm fighting with my umbrella so I'm heading home because I got stuff to do anyways and I don't know I did a lot of things the only thing I wanted to do but didn't get to do Shrek and technically I could do it but I don't feel like doing it right now so next time but for now heading home and that's it so I'll give you an update in a minute okay bye all right so it's been a long day I'm finally in the parking lot now i have to go down all the way to the first floor so fun 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 um but besides that it's like amen you know so we'll see it was a very actually productive day i loved it i did a lot of things i did most if not all of the attractions i wanted to do and yeah it was awesome really in all reality it was great and yeah why not you know all right so now that i look a hot mess and i'm but i'm in my car in ac without a mask on i hope you liked all my side commentary as i was going through the rides and stuff like that i hope you have a great day bye